All right, so another cheap solar panel video. Got off work early today, nice and sunny. Got my other Jeep here, parked in the middle of the lawn. There's company over, and I need a parking spot. So, what good is a Jeep if you can't just park it anywhere? All right, so, I'm gonna do a demonstration of what I'm gonna be using my system for. I'm gonna be going on vacation. And I did this because I'll be uh, boondocking with uh, a house trailer. This is very slackly set up. It's very cold out here. Don't have a lot of wire set up here either. I'm trying to get this to stay so we can read this watch meter. Maybe like this. There we go. So the battery's fully charged. Easy. I'm putting like one watt into it because uh, it's so fully charged. And what I want to do is run this electric cooler 24-7. On the cold setting, and it's set to cold. Plug that in right now. Oh, it doesn't work on this one. It works on this one. So not plugged in. Got some issues here. What's going on? Yep, that was the problem. There we go. Now it's running. Okay, so that is running now. Got the voltage down to 14.4, 14.3, 92 watts going into the battery. So this takes almost 100 watts continuous. And then what I want to be able to do is run my laptop at night. And I have an Alienware gaming laptop, so on average it'll run approximately 100 watts. It'll go over for peaks. So I'm going to turn this on. Why isn't it working? Oh, I know why. Don't have the lamp on. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now, 100 watt light bulb draining. Now, we are putting that much power. I don't know why it's going down. Oh, 50. 155. 55-ish. Yep. So I think at this point, I am now going backwards. Um, I'm taking more power than I'll be putting in, but I won't be running my laptop all the time. This will be running all the time, but even though I don't even have hardly enough power to run this all 24 seven, when I drive somewhere or something with the Jeep, the batteries will get a, a good charge. But this is just to help maintain it. I'm getting 160 watts right now. And the amps, that is the solar panel amps at 34.5 volts. So it's it's more than, it's around double that, a little more than double that going into the battery. And I'm able to run all this. This is gonna be sweet for camping, just under the Jeep or with the trailer. I'm very excited, oh yeah, here we go, we can see the battery percentage, I can't check the voltage with the inverter on, but the percentage is between 95 and 100%. So we're staying around 13 volts, which is awesome. And then say I'm done with my, done with my laptop, shut that off. And I got 14.4 volts again with just this running. All right, so thought I'd do a, a winter, pretty much a winter peak sunny day video to see what kind of power output which it looks like about 160 watts i believe is what it was let's see here i can't remember actually i'm pretty sure it was 160. let's see oh, 160 oh, down to 150. the mppt was tracking oh i kicked it right out for a second it does that now it's got to recalibrate and start climbing again see how long that takes Oh, there we go, just started. Don't get stuck on that. There's a little glitch in this MPPT. That's definitely not my maximum power point. <coughs> I'm gonna have to watch this thing for uh, glitches like that. I think if I shut the light off and then turn it back on, It'll find it again. It'll eventually find it, but I think it'll take way too long. There we go. We're at 33. 
Still not finding it. Should be two volts lower on the PV. Oh, there we go. I just found it. Or something. No, I didn't even find it yet. Okay, if I unplug the... I just unplugged the cooler. Plugged it back in. Ah, just being funny now. It'll probably take about five minutes to find it. Oh, no, I just got, it just found it. Look at that. There we go. Sometimes it takes a while, but anyways. 163 watts. But I mean, for 75 bucks, you can't go around with an MPPT like that. Thanks for watching, guys. So this is the most my system's put out yet. This is 822 watts out of there. 725, or 20, sorry, 715, 721 it was for a second ago. I have this battery maintainer maintaining two batteries, and this is charging that uh, whipper snipper, so it's probably close to about 740-ish, something around there. Just thought I'd share this update. And this is without the 250 watt panel. That is now on the commander. So this is... Uh, the sun is just getting into a better, on a better angle on my panels. So they're making more power right now than with uh, a 250 watt solar panel uh, added to the system. It is very warm. Let's see here. What's the temperature of this thing? Feels warm. 34 Fahrenheit, that is 93, 94. Hit 95 for a second. So it's warm, but it does a fine job. The fans are trying to start, that's why it's making this high pitch sound. <laughs> and there they go. Now it's going to cool itself down. All right, thanks for watching. Update time. I've produced almost 114 kilowatts. In the sun, I'm producing approximately about three to four, around three and a half kilowatts a day with five hours approximately of good sunlight, maybe six hours. And uh, this thing's really producing some power. I am uh, impressed with it so far. Uh, I took it apart and fixed any loose components and uh, non heat sinked components. And it seems to be doing me good so far. I'm very impressed with this new style power jack. Uh, it's a lot longer than the old ones. I don't know if they change anything inside, but it uh, seems to work pretty good. And I'll keep you guys updated on the power production of this thing. <laughs> so I think I found a way. That's, oh, I hit, uh, there you go. It's only been about, I don't know, a few minutes, 20 minutes or something. And I'm quite a bit past 14 kilowatts. Still putting out around 800 watts. I'm going to shut this off. Wasting power for a second because I think I figured out this goes down to 14 watts. Okay. So I got this cord running all the way into the back of my Jeep where I have my little grid tie. And I have my 24 volt panel up top. So I figured out a way. Use the grid tie with 24 volt panel, and that's with an MPPP, MPPT controller. Through the battery, I will be shutting the battery off once it gets started. <coughs> so now the grid tie is on, starting to work. This is now grid tie only. Let's see what happens here. Holding it 14. Some odd volts. Let's see what happens here. Let's go look at the output. It's really low power factor, so when the power factor is low, it automatically does the equation for you and shows you the watts going in. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can get this higher here. Maybe if I keep the battery on, the this will be able to track and work better. 
Okay, so battery's on, holding around 14 and a half plus volts. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be putting out a whole lot of power. 34 watts there, 33 watts. All right, so even through an MPPT controller, it still doesn't work very well. I just thought I'd share this. Just playing around with my Jeep.